One, whatever begins to exist has a cause. Two, the universe began to exist. Three, therefore, the universe has a cause. As the cause of space and time, this being must be an uncaused, timeless, spaceless, immaterial being of unfathomable power. Moreover, it must be personal as well. Why? Proposing the notion that belief in God is reasonable is an internationally renowned philosopher and theologian. He's the author of 30 books and hundreds of peer-reviewed academic articles. We have the Reasonable Faith Tour when William Lane Craig visits the UK, defending the Christian faith in lectures and debates. The time has come for people of reason to say enough is enough. I'm going to approach tonight's question from the standpoint of reason and argument. I'm convinced that there are better arguments for theism than for atheism. My brothers and sisters and co-thinkers in the unbelieving community take him very seriously. The uh, one Christian apologist who seems to put the fear of God into many of my fellow atheists. The universe will be spontaneously created out of nothing without the need for a creator. In a book which pronounces the death of philosophy, it's ironic that this book would then plunge into a philosophical discussion about realism and anti-realism in science. Well, which God? You happen to have been brought up in the Christian faith. I want to issue a challenge to all of us to become intellectually engaged as Christians. And there's no better way to get in engaged than by responding to people's questions. The Be Thinking National Conference will be there as well. I'm really thrilled to be partnered with these other gentlemen in providing this sort of training. Get into the public discussion. There is zero evidence for the existence of God. Really tough opponents have stepped up. Let the debate begin. Stephen Law. Both sides of an argument are given a level playing field and the other person is called to account for his views and to objections to those views. Arif Ahmed, Andrew Copson. My interest is having a real substantive exchange of ideas on these important questions. Peter Millikan and Peter Atkins. What I want to urge upon you is militant atheism. It's not every day that one atheist accuses another of cowardice for refusing to debate a Christian. It's even even rarer when both are Oxford dons. What they plan to do at the Sheldonian Theatre in Oxford is set up the stage for a debate format with an empty table, an empty chair, where Dawkins will be given the opportunity to the last minute to show up. But if he doesn't, then I'll simply give a lecture criticizing his arguments in the God delusion against the existence of God. I don't care who you are, what community you come from, or what church you go to, or anything else. We'll have a friendly conversation about it, and I'll win the argument. You won't want to miss what promises to be a fantastic tour. It's all happening from Monday the 17th of October. And people can go to bethinking.org slash Craig to get more information.